Only on nine, Tucson Unified's governing board is now under scrutiny like it's never seen before. A new watchdog group has formed to hold the board accountable, and its sights are focused on three board members. Not in your sides, Valerie Cavazos continues to follow the money with more on who's behind it and why. A superintendent, H.T. Sanchez, in his third year at TUSD, leads a district that can't climb higher than a C grade based on student achievement. Yet the superintendent received a 24% raise, $50,000 in his second year, and a $142,000 year-end bonus in place as an incentive to stay. His cabinet received $10,000 bonuses the same year, while teachers in the trenches got a $500 raise, all unanimously approved by the majority governing board. Adelita Grijalva, Crystal Foster, and Cam Juarez. It's those reasons in part that's behind the new watchdog group, an independent expenditure committee that aims to hold the governing board accountable for the state of the district, a district that's seen its reserves dwindle. Kathy Campbell, a TUSD parent, is one member leading the charge. I think we need to put it out there that yes, there are issues. Here's how we fix them. This isn't something we should give up on. The other lead member is Jimmy Lovelace, a CPA. You might remember him. He was bounced from TUSD's audit committee in 2014 after, he says, he asked tough questions about unforced errors. Once an insider, he's now on the outside looking in and believes the board majority has the wrong priorities. You know, the classroom spending is under 50 percent and has continued to decline over the years. Although the superintendent set a goal to just under 51 percent by the 2015-16 school year, the chief financial officer, Carla Soto, told me the current teacher shortage makes that difficult to achieve. Classroom dollars are contingent upon us filling every vacancy. Back to Lovelace, who says he holds no grudge being bounced from the audit committee. How do you make sure that your organization keeps from being either politically biased or, you know, if there's a vendetta against somebody on that board? A great question. Um, we have no vendetta. Our only agenda is to hold any current or future board accountable. The watchdog group has launched a website, TUSD Kids First, to keep the community informed. Valerie Cavazos, Kega 9 on your side.